Uh, and welcome back. We have with us this morning two serving and honorable gentlemen from our defense force. We have Captain Ivan Locario, uh, and who is the administrative? I work in administration. Cor really Correct. Manager. Between the military and human development. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And we also have the pleasure of a pilot this morning, uh, Captain Kenroy Smith. Morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks, Thanks for having us. I was saying that for some reason, Belize, um, the Belize Defense Force Day is one of the big social events in this country. You have like um, the or, or agricultural and trade show, you have Casho Fest, and like to me, right under that, you have BDF Day. It's always well attended. Why, 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 why do you account for that level of support when to me, no other government organization or entity, there's no police day, there's no nurses day, there's no but somehow the support from the community seems to be overwhelming. What, what accounts for that? Um, I think they, it's just the fact that people are very much looking forward every year to attend this fair, to go out and see what the BDS has to offer, to go out and support their family, um, whether that um, their family are there in person or they are absent whilst they are on duty, but they go out there and they show that support. And it's, it's just, a sense of um, feeling and pride to be there and be able to experience what it is like to be a soldier for a day. Is there a soldier in all of us? Yes, there, there is. is. There is. <laughs> but not a Belize defense soldier, of course. <laughs> so, um, I, can I just ask what's, what the size of the force is right now? Really? Yeah. Classified. <laughs> Estimated <laughs> families that are impacted, because that's an interesting point. There are a lot of families who have uh, relatives who are in the Defense Force, uh, people who have had some kind of contact. And I think it really is a time where people get to celebrate the work that's being done. Yes. We have, um, we're nearing 1,500 families that are affected on a daily basis. Well, I wouldn't say affected, but who get the pleasure of enjoying a soldier in a family. Yeah, mm. yeah, you know? that's fantastic. And I appreciate the hard work that has been done throughout the year. Yeah. Because while a lot of Belizeans get to go to bed and cuddle up, a lot of our guys are on the border working from yeah. Sarstoon to Cadenas, Machiquilha, yeah. Rio Blanco, and I want to say hi to all the guys out there because they're doing all that hard work. I know that. I think a lot of people don't get insight into a day in the life of a BDF soldier. Depend, and I know it depends on what department you're working in yes. as well. Yes. yes. Um, but uh, why don't you share a, a day in the life for you? One of your more memorable uh, departments you served in or work that you did uh, that really to you epitomizes uh, your contribution as a BDF? Well, for me, as a younger officer, <laughs> then, I, I enjoyed infantry. And with infantry, we get the opportunity and the pleasure of going into the jungle either uh, the Chiki Bull or somewhere on the border and we get to walk for days to get to that one location that you will check, you will make sure that the border is secure and then you sleep out there. Mm. The skies, That's the part you love? Yes. I enjoyed being in the jungle. I enjoyed it. Wow. And for you? Um, for me, I would just like to add on to what Captain Lakara said because I before I became a pilot within the BDF, I also served in the infantry role. But now as a pilot, um, the joy of now having to, 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 to be able to support the ground troops from the air with aerial support. Um, now the days of walking in these prolonged periods of time is now shortened with the air assets that we now have. So we are now able to insert troops a little bit faster and so that just the joy of being able to give them that additional two or three days rest of not having to walk is something that nice. looking at the security forces on a whole like there's a there's sort of like an irony because even though we have a lot of support on bdf it almost seems that the bdf is almost taken for granted all the hard work that you guys do the sacrifices that you make and how much we rely on you in terms of security you know, the police force is like the, the, it's like the glamour child. You know, they're always on TV, either getting slack or getting commendation. Even the Coast Guard, you know, has its own glamour thing to it and seems to be the new kid, the, the, the baby on the block. Yeah. And so it gets a lot of attention. But the middle child really seems to be the police defense force. 
am I right in saying that to me it's almost like the public doesn't necessarily on a day-to-day -day basis give the police, I mean give the BDF the respect and due, and we're making comparisons between Belize, for example, and the United States of America, where these armed forces are just like, that's the prize child. It, do you agree that there is a little bit of a, a shift in terms of the way Belizeans view the police force on the scale of security um, services in this country? Um, take that one. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think that it's it has to do with the fact that we don't try to publicize ourselves out there as being on the forefront. Um, our mandate is always so much so in in, in a supporting role. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes when we do go out on any sort of um, missions or, or assisting in any any um, operations operations. Um, we're always in support of a leading organization, whether that be the police department, the Coast Guard, Forestry Department. So we are always there in a supporting role. Mm -hmm. Although most times we would be on the forefront, but we try not to be out there publicizing that this is what the media. Another thing I do, I challenge you guys to come and live a day in the life of maybe go to some of our units and. Been there already. Did Get it. all suited up and <laughs> did it take a trip to Machakila. I did it already. You did? Yes. You went to Machakila? No. Show the proof. I, I understand. <laughs> he just but, says um, that. He doesn't really say that. But can I just say one thing? I also think it's a Belize City thing because uh, Captain Lakara, you know that in, in Punta Gorda, for example, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people who aspire to be BDFs. Correct, and yeah. and that they go through school just mm -hmm. with that goal in mind. Mm -hmm. And I still find students now who still have that. In fact, when you have your intake, I mean, the last time we had people sleeping outside begging to join. Correct. So I think the interest obviously shows that there is a lot of prestige or there's a lot that people want to be associated with, with the Belize Defense Force. Yes, and I guess that is the reason why um, our BDF day is always a success because although um, we don't try to be on the forefront, every year people come to the BDF day to see what what we have to offer to get an opportunity to experience because there's a lot of events that happen throughout the course of the day that a soldier would undertake whilst out within the jungle and the civilian then get an opportunity to experience just that small part of what it would have been like if I was a serving man. Of Let course, me what you're talking about are those air drills. That's what everybody goes to see. <laughs> they no. want to see the skydiving. Yeah. Um, no, uh -huh. we, we have um, jungle <laughs> lanes. Um, There's so much more. So much I know. More. So I much know. Let me play those advocate, though. Okay. Um, and kind of burst the kumbaya moment. What if critics would say, listen, the lines out there are because it's, it's an, some people see it as an easy job. You don't need a lot of qualifications for it. And you know, basically what you are required to do is hard on you in terms of physical, mm -hmm. but as an infantryman, it's, it's something that you can do. I'd say that How the do you to Defense them? Force is a university by itself. You had the professor here a while ago, and he talked about all the knowledge base, all the procedures, all that. When I joined up, in, when I joined the Belize Defense Force, I had recently graduated from St. John Six Farm. And I got there, and just to do one of their card, one of their courses, it's like a whole university by itself. Mm -hmm. Tactics and doctrine, mm -hmm. they don't teach that at UB. Mm -hmm. You want to learn that, you have to come to the Belize Defense Force. In fact, BDF Day this weekend, we're using that <coughs> sorry, as a recruiting tool. Mm -hmm. If you want to join up, the, join into the Belize Defense Force, the Coast Guard, the police, or you have the young boys that are out of school right now, they want to do something constructive, they could go to the Belize Youth Challenge. So these entities will have boots out there, yeah. and we'll, we're using that as a recruiting how, tool. How, how does the volunteer unit fall into the matrix of the uh, BDF? Where, is it a subgroup, and um, is that a feature of um, BDF Day? It is. It is. A lot of people say they are a stepchild, but no, they are a part <laughs> of us. Let me say that they are a part of us. That's your biological part. child. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what has been the willingness? A lot of, there's been a lot of patriotic talk. And um, I think there are no... Credibility is a funny thing. And I think the most credible people to speak are the people who, when we make these uh, decisions, have an immediate... They're the front line. Of, of these decisions. 
But what has been the morale been? A lot of patriotic talk that I'm more believing than you if I have a certain view on the referendum vote or if you don't have a view on the referendum vote and what could possibly happen as a consequence. But I'm interested to see whether or not there's been an increase in volunteers to come in and say, listen, I saw patriotic that I'm going to line up, and I'm saying it's for everybody, but I wonder if there was a spike of increase of interest, um, not necessarily only in the um, regular intake, but in the volunteers who are coming. A lot of people want to join up. It's just the availability of space. So we have a cap, and we, as long as we reach that buffer, Can't it's hard further. to take in any more people because, of course, we'd have to pay them. So there's been an increase, there's been an increase in interest. Yes. Well, that's good news. Listen, are putting their money where their mouth is. Now, I was asking, one of my favorite things about um, BDFD was my uncle was the commandant at one point in time, so I'm very much um, invested in the work, apart from having a lot of respect for the work that you guys do. Mm -hmm. But one of the favorite things on attractions for the day, and I'm sure we're going to get into them, is boxing. What, what, what are we looking for this year? An increase from boxing to MMA? You know, what, what, what are we looking forward to this year? Well, there will be no boxing this year, sad to say. What? <laughs> We're trying to bring it back online. We have to do some major planning. It's getting very expensive. Remember, our last boxing match, we had international fights. Yeah. And, uh, of course, it comes at a cost. And uh, I don't know if you would buy a ticket for a nosebleed seat. You know what's a nosebleed? <laughs> All the way right through. under that <laughs> ring. It's kind of expensive, though. And then if we don't have people going in and buying, purchasing those tickets, it comes at a cost. We left, we're left with that cost, and then, you know. What is, one is, what is the favorite attraction, or the most popular attraction at BDFD? Marlene said it. The skydivers. Don't no worry, I do my that. research. <laughs> oh, yeah. so, um, so since we're on some of the events, um, we are going to have this year a dog show for the first time. So we'll oh. have a dog show. Um, we'll have a... I love that the dog is center of the, uh, the flyer, too. <laughs> <laughs> we have a um, dog show. We'll, we're going to have a, the karate display. We have the normal PT yeah. display, the mock battle display. And then this year, we're also going to do an eight-ball pool tournament. So that is pretty much a substitution for the mm -hmm. boxing at this, uh, at this time. And we just like to mention that the, the BDF will be celebrating its 41st anniversary. It starts tomorrow with the passing out of the recruit and then um, we move into this events on saturday we encourage everyone to come out families come out and support your your um your mem family members within the bdf um, it's only two dollars to go in for adults one dollar for for a kid mm -hmm. and come out and have fun nice there's normally a dance afterwards i too. was going there to is. say actually the dance this year is sweet pain the X band. X band. Oh, we're yeah. having the X band this year, along with Ernestine. Mm. We're having uh, Think to know. Mr. Frisco, the <laughs> One Man Army. We're having Alfred, Mr. Hype, so Paul. and it's only fifteen dollars in advance, twenty dollars at the door. door. Nice. There's nowhere else in Belize you're gonna get this lineup for fifteen dollars. Yeah. Actually, we're giving things away come Saturday. <laughs> and there are a lot of giveaways Lots. that you have integrated in the day as well. Uh, what's what's the sponsorship been like? Have people been supporting you? Very much. Yes. Yeah. We have a yes. lineup of sponsors. We we have a lineup of sponsors. <laughs> um, as as you all would know, every year the BDF have a raffle, and uh -huh. this year the grand raffle is a house. It's a sixteen by twenty house, value about twenty dollars, and that was donated. Twenty thousand. Sorry, twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. <laughs> And that was uh, donated by Midwest Lumber Mills from Spanish Lookout. Awesome. So we'd like to big them up for assisting us with that grand prize. It's we only a dollar a ticket, yes. you know. One dollar a ticket. And that's a top prize. There that's are lots of other yes. prizes Of course, second well. prize is $2,000. Third prize is 1000 Fourth prize is a getaway for you and yours in San Pedro, all expense paid. Mm. Imagine <laughs> that. And it goes, it gets better mm. till we get to the 20th prize. What is, the, what is the current morale of the Belize Defense Force? The troops. And, and what, for the troops, and what will Belize, what will the BDFD do for morale? Well, morale is always high. I tell you, like, people don't even want to go to sleep out there because they don't want to miss a beat. <laughs> Soldiers are so excited. They love being a part of the force. Yeah. Right now we have new things coming online we have our guys doing martial arts so the force is about to train all its members in martial arts 
-hmm. Of course, we have BSAG. They're doing their recruiting in a couple of weeks for those members who want to be a part of the Special Force. There's just so much. We have pilot screening. We have a couple of our guys going to Jamaica when next month? Yeah, next month. Yeah. To study. They come back as pilots. So there's just so much to do. A lot of people think that we're just there carrying a gun and walking on the border. <laughs> no. It's much more than that. So much more. Yeah, there are different specializations Correct. people yes. have as well, right? And technology, like how are we taking a couple of steps in terms of incorporating technology in what are soldiers? We are watching these programs in the States, you know, Hollywood, what it is, you know, with drones and the upgrade oh, of soldiers. Definitely. And yeah, is Belize making our little steps yes. Yes, we're forward? Making, we're, we're making baby steps, baby but steps. we're getting there. But we're they say one, one full basket. <laughs> 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 so we're getting there, but back to BDF Day, there's so much more to do, especially when it comes to the main stage. You know, everybody want to be at that mm -hmm. main tent. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of games, a lot of entertainment. This year, we're doing a apple beer whistle game. You have to eat three apples, drink a beer, and then whistle. <laughs> The first person to complete. Why does that sound like it can't be done? Huh? No, it could be. It could be. It could be. It it's just the, the fun of it, the joke of it. Then we have drink a beer, spin and tag. So you have to drink a beer on one end. They'll spin you around. You run to your partner. You tag him. Of course, after you drink that beer and they spin you around ten times. It's basically <laughs> just entertainment yeah, to have it's fun. fun. It's so fun. We have tug and war, greasy pole, watermelon eating contest. We no have greasy pig. No. no, we couldn't find a pig that will run around. Oh, what? The a lot of the pigs are domesticated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just They're just, I'm not going to say it, there are lots of vegetarians. <laughs> but um, the other thing I wanted to include is just obviously, I know that there's a lot of drinking that takes place, and so you really try to uh, help people out in staying safe with the bus that runs. You're yes. going to have that this year? Yes, we have free buses running starting at 8 in the morning. Yeah from Ladyville to Tong and back. So the stops are at Pong Yard and mm -hmm. at Palote. They'll pick you up, they'll take you up there for free. That will be all day. This year we have added that we're um, looking into, we have a free bus going to Mascal. Oh. So the Mascal Road. Yeah. Guys, come out, bring the family. So Mascal, Lucky Strike, Sand Hill. Yeah. Boston. Another thing we're doing is that we're looking into the Boom Road, Belize River Valley, free bus mm. again. Mm. So we're looking at St. Paul's, Willows, Doublehead, Buttercup, down to Boom and then to Ladyville. I hope I got that right. <laughs> 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 yeah. And uh, how, until when does the bus run? Um, for the villages, it leaves the villages at 10. So for Mascal and Boom River Valley area, there's one bus, it leaves at 10, and they'll take them back immediately after the raffle. Okay. For Belize City, the run, it's every hour on the hour. hour. Mm -hmm. And for Belize City, also, for the dance that night, buses will be running. Yeah. Gotcha. So, so you don't have to worry about making that drive down. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the one thing this year that you think is just, uh, you know, you shouldn't miss? If you've got to be there for a certain time to see a particular activity, what is that? I think you shouldn't miss anything, anything. <laughs> because it's going to be a mini expo too. We have Sankas, mm -hmm. we have Madisco, we have Grace Kennedy, mm -hmm. so it's a mini expo. We have Digicel, we smart. have Smart. They'll be doing their promotions on Double Up. It's big, man. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. It's big. And what time is the mock battle? Uh, the mock, we have a mock battle and a hostage rescue. Oh. Wow. And the kids, they, they love the battle. I know. They so if you're the there, band. if you're there, early enough. Um, this time we're going to try to do the events a little bit after 10, 11. Mm -hmm. That's the time that we have seen predominantly that people come. Yeah. So anytime time between 10 and 2. That's when you're going to see some of those activities. Most of the activities. So more people can yes. catch it. Because after 2, going on to 3, everybody's at the main stage for the entertainment. For the entertainment. Ah, they're ready for dance. Yeah. Ready to dance. We have X-Ban on stage during the day. We have um, Ernestine on stage during the day. So they'll give you a little teaser to prep you for the night. Let me ask you this before you go. The battle of um, music, you've tagged it, soca <coughs> versus dance hall. Uh -huh. But if you were to, in your estimation, the most popular genre of music for soldiers, wouldn't it be punta? Hmm. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> what would it be? I think we have a wide variety. If you look at the different cultures we have in 
we have people from different cultures, so I can't say it would be punta. Maybe the salsa, merengue, like cumbia, soca, uh, dance. No, I, I guess this year we, we, we're, we're trying to do uh, something different. Um, yes. Predominantly, it has always been punta, punta. Yeah. Um, throughout the course of the day, we would have drummers and yes. stuff throughout the course of the night as well. And this year, we're just trying to do a little spin on it. Um, and I guess this is just building up to the hype for next year. Because next year, we're hoping to get some sort of international artist coming in sure. or an international DJ. So we're just, nice. we're just Warm up, no. warming up. And it's just a friendly battle, you know. It's yeah. not no <laughs> clash. Yeah. It's not a clash. Yeah. <laughs> so there'll be a line in the middle of this um, dance hall. One side will have soca, one side sure. will have dance hall. And when the DJ spin, you jump on the side you like. <laughs> so if you're entertained over here, you oh. jump that side or you can jump so that, that side. So that eliminates the dance competition from last year, I <laughs> We'll still have those. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a drill that you're going to show us this morning, right? Yes. Just a little bit of a preview of uh, what people can expect. This is a small, small preview. Tell us what we're going to see. Well, like I said earlier, we're trying to get the whole force trained up in martial arts. Mm -hmm. So these are some of our guys that have been trained already. Mm -hmm. And they're moving up in belt. So and they brought real weapons. Real weapons, no. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna look at different mm -hmm. techniques that they have mm -hmm. and uh, how to disarm Turn. if you're attacked. Yeah. Great. Yeah, we want to get a great a great view of what you're doing. Go ahead. Um, the instructor has a mic, so I think yes. he'll do the. The instructor, yes. introduce yourself for us. We don't have your name here. Yeah. Um, yes. Um. Lance Corporal Eduardo Kiao. Um, we have here um, Diego Yam and Aro. Okay. What are you going Aromo. to show us? Um, actually, um, we'll do some knife disarm, club disarm, um, 9 millimeter. As when I use uh, the BDF use, we have the breaking board. Um, it will show us how to disarm. Okay. Whenever right. you get... Um, it's your show now. Let's see it. Yes. <laughs> this is a punch. Whenever somebody throws a punch so you could defend yourself. This is a club, like way, or a baton. <laughs> you like... Those movements are quick seconds, so it doesn't take too long to touch the ground, and you could get dislocate your arm. So this is a knife disarm. The knife is like it's a commando knife in design. The only thing is non lethal. So. <laughs> Uh, somebody maybe hijack one, hijack you, or rob you. Get down! Get down! Oh. You'd be very well trained to quick, do that. Quick, quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a broken board. This is this board is like uh, it is so it's hard. It's so that one punch like, touch your ribs, you go broke. Yes, this is how um, the... How long does it take to master these skills? Um, we, are, we are practicing this almost eight years. Wow. Eight years. Yeah. So... So you can disarm someone with a gun, a knife, and also uh, disarm them by kicking them in the chest like you did with that yes. break board. Chest or... Here. But if it's here, you, wouldn't you kill someone if you kick them here? It will, dish, it will unbalance him. Oh, okay. Then afterwards, you wow. will do whatever you want. It's a punch. These are okay. These are non lethal. Can you do these? <laughs> no. <laughs> so. you're, you're in training? Soon, very soon. <laughs> This is a Taekwondo, this is a Kore Korean mm -hmm. um, martial arts. It's a knife, knife hand guard. 
we call it. <coughs> so if one of that thought a uh, nakyo or mm -hmm. the temple, that's it. It as in your out oh, cool. Yes. <laughs> These are non-lethal techniques, so... The techniques are real. But they're real, I mean but they, they, they're, not, they're not designed to kill. They're designed to subdue, disarm, and yes. to control. To use a minimum force. Minimum force. So that you, um, or if whenever you are working in the fields and you, don't, you, you get out of ammunition, so you know how to defend yourself, or yeah. minimum force is for you. Or if you're doing support to police in civilian... Um, Yes. Areas that you are oh, able no, to. More, this is more, for me, more gentle for have a weapon and you shoot the, the, the opponent or... Yeah. yeah. So with this, it's more wow. easier to do it, <laughs> easier way. Obviously, after the demonstration, it really shows the importance of having uh, the soldiers trained Correct. in this because yeah. you don't have to resort to using your weapon as, as we're seeing here. Yes. And we also have to think about the escalation of force. force. Yeah. Yes. So yes. especially when we're working within city limits or we're working with civilians, we're not at war. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right, guys, let's get the roundup of BDF Day this year once again so everybody knows when to go, where to go, where to catch the bus. All right, so our team for this year is one family, one force, one country, peace through strength. And we're saying, come out, come out, tell a friend to tell a friend, bring the family. It's more of a family day than anything else. So it's on the 26th of January. Mm -hmm. This is this Saturday. Of course, we start at 8. There'll be buses running for free, coming from Ladyville to Palori, Pong Yard, and back up. Yeah. We also have buses um, going to Moscow and uh, the Belize River Valley. We have the dog show, we have sporting events, football, eight ball tournament. The biker boys will be there, all these guys on their motorcycles will be there. They're having burnouts, the loudest bike. We have the para drum, karate display, PT display, map battle, hostage rescue. Of course, main stage will be a lot of entertainment and a lot of laughter. Mm -hmm. Apple, beer and whistle, the games on stage, tug and war, greasy pole, watermelon eating contest, drink, spin and run. Banana eating competition for the ladies, of course. Last year they did it, and my gosh, <laughs> people were rolling on the ground with laughter. We have the beer drinking for the kids. We have some entertainment. Wait, beer drinking, drinking for, for the kids? The beer drinking, and then Contest. for the kids. Okay, oh. For the kids. A little bit too close, I had to make <laughs> sure right. if you... And you. then for the kids, <laughs> okay, we great. have some little entertainment on stage too. Yeah. We have uh, juice drinking. Make I get that. Make I clear that up. Okay, great. Let's clear great. that up. Yeah. You have mechanical um, rides too? We have mechanical rides this year. Uh, we have balloon dart, plate and coin, basketball hoops, go fishing. Of course, entertainment. Mm -hmm. The best entertainment. Only for, for $15? Come on. Yeah. Ernestine, x man Mr. Frisco, Alfred Sapal, Soka versus Dance Hall. We're inviting all the carnival groups to come out. Mm. Show me how much you love Soka. Mm. What time does the dance start? It starts, early juggling starts at 8. Okay. But of course, the real thing... And it goes till? Till about 3. Okay. Or until the last person go home. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> because... <laughs> of course, we have security all day. Yeah. Where the um, police department is supporting us. Yeah. And we have our guys that will be working security too. Food? Food, of course. Be there for like eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, we have our chefs. They'll be cooking that day. So come to us how our chefs cook. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And Excellent. we'll have we have different booth out there. So we have Sancas, we have Grace Kennedy, we have Madisco. The phone company. The phone companies, Digicel, Smart. We have, uh, we're, and also this year, like I told you, we're doing it as a recruiting tool for mm -hmm. BDF, Police, Coast Guard, and BYC. Mm -hmm. So a lot of guys want to join up to the security forces. Come out. Nice. Come see how it's done. Come roll with the big boys. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, thank you for coming in and giving us the details and for doing that demo as well. We certainly won't bring uh, any one of those opens in front of you. Um, but, of course, this is a highly anticipated event, and I hope that everybody comes out, shows their support, and has a great time as well. Yeah, right? thank you. Thank you. And remember, there's also the raffle, which is only a dollar 
uh, for each ticket, and you can win. So before house. we leave, we're going to give you guys a ticket each. Oh, wow. Get okay. your names in the barrel. All right, <laughs> there you go. Thank you once again. We're going to go ahead and take our final break, and when we come back, we'll have a wrap-up, so stay tuned.